Luke, Tom, and Nate here with the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, and we're here on Hatteras Island. We're gonna catch a whole bunch of stuff, and we're gonna do an awesome catch and cook video. Are you guys excited? Yeah! Woo! All right. I think it's gonna be a beautiful day, man. Fish and, and marlin. We've got a bunch of these teasers and then we've got some rigged up folly hoop and we're dragging this behind the boat and see if we can not get some tuna or wahoo or marlin to come up and rise to it. We got a lot of rigs to get out. Some are diving deep, some are skimming along the surface. All right, Nathan's tackling the first fish of the day. He's way back there. Oh, look at this! Woo! A black tuna. tuna! That's right! Is that my first black fin tuna? I think that's your first black fin. Oh! Hold him. Hold him. That's your first black fin, buddy! You got it? slowed down a little bit and the boys have been taking a nap getting up at 4 a.m. is hard for a little guy hard for anyone I got this old lighthouse here opportunity to catch lots of different species of fish most of which I've never caught before so I'm pretty excited yee, 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 yee. I pulled off Keep going. what you got there something got away I just saw my man here smelling his bait. He swears he can smell the difference between a bait that's been bit by an amberjack versus a barracuda here. Oh ho! There's ain't no black fin tuna. <laughs> oh ho! That amberjack. He can <laughs> smell them. Yeah. He was on the set. <laughs> Woo! That's my first amberjack right there. Oh, what a beast. Dwarfs them a little bit. There we go. Oh my 
goodness, that was awesome. You know, I really don't mind losing fish, but man, I wish I could have seen what that was. That was a nice fish. I smell an amberjack with a gimpy, with a gimpy fin, his right fin. He's sitting here pulling on the line, giving it a little extra wiggle. Just like ice fishing, man. Just giving that little hand twitch. We're seeing a bunch of fish on the sonar, so we're gonna go and jig a uh, sushi spoon right near this lighthouse structure and see if we can't pick up another amberjack or a barracuda or something. fishing for king mackerel we've got a two treble hook rig with a little bolly hoo on it and uh we're gonna see if we can't hook, hook into some big king mackerel this is gonna be exciting i've never caught a king mackerel before about the time that you can smell the difference between a barracuda and an amberjack that's about the time you start biting the nose off your bait fish <laughs> yeah tom go for it when he's pulling line just let him pull line once he stops pulling line, then start reeling. Okay, now reel. If he goes new. Yeah, I think you can get him. Yeah, King Mackerel just came flying out of the water, exploded like a northern pike right on the surface. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. I think you caught the, lo the longest fish of the day. But you caught the biggest. There's a lot less fussy than other types of trolling. We're just dragging a ballyhoo on a bunch of treble hooks behind the boat. I just got a ballyhoo with the treble hook in the head and then another treble hook along the, the back, just like people rig for Northern Pike. Look at that. And I wrap it around the ballyhoo a few times. Oh yeah. So my tension's only on the head there. They're just dragging across the surface and these king mackerel just <laughs> Action's still so hot, they're just throwing them in the cooler with the rig still in them. That's that's getting it done. What did you do? Use, I used my T Rex strength to get it. Nathan used his T Rex strength. All right, these baits are just trolling like 30, 40 feet behind the boat. You just watch them just come up and explode on it. Oh, right there. Line went tight so fast it sounded like a whip. Go. Here we go, here we go. That Bali who is shredded in two pieces. He's just going, going, going. He's running towards us. Holy mackerel, he came six feet out of the air. I don't think Shamu could have jumped out of the water more. That was insane. Oh. There he goes, he just hit it again. Boom, just exploded. 
Got him? Got him, Tom? Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a whip is cracking when those things hammer that. Yep. Woo! Well, it's been a fabulous day, but the rain's coming down. We're gonna call it and head on in. We've got plenty of fish. But this video ain't over. We're gonna go and be cleaning and cooking some tuna, some amberjack, barracuda, and king mackerel. I wanna get... Yeah, fun. Grip on it, squeeze tight. Okay, boys, look at me. Yeah, yeah, come stand up, Tom. Check this out. These are the mackerel. This is our Spanish mackerel. Are you right too? What's your favorite fish that you have played but you like? Uh, I like the trigger fish. Trigger fish? So I know, I, I heard. Oh yeah. Snapper. Snapper. Yeah, I found the eyeball. Oh, <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's an eye. Oh, it's like a marble. All right, we got everything spread out as best we can so it freezes as quickly as possible. Well guys, I don't know about you, but I am in the mood to eat some of that fish. And I'm gonna start with the tuna. I think we should have some tuna sashimi tacos or poke tacos. First things first, we're gonna make a mango kiwi pineapple pico de gallo. Blackfin tuna here. Uh, avocado or two. Sprinkle some more cilantro. There, the poke tacos. All right, guys, who wants poke tacos? Well, everyone loved the tuna steak, uh, but there's a few people that are having a hard time getting their head around the raw tuna stuff. So we're gonna make seared tuna tacos. Does that sound good, babe? See, there we go. We can compromise. Uh, seared tuna tacos is actually pretty good too. I have to admit it. 
Well, we're back from the Outer Banks and back at the house and I'm gonna talk you through how to cook up those fish. We're gonna cook up the Amberjack and some Barracuda and I'm gonna talk you through how to cook up the King Mackerel. Now, King Mackerel is an oily fish, like all the mackerel. It's really good smoked. Oily fish are great to smoke but you could also grill it up. And what I would do is soak it overnight in Italian salad dressing and then grill it up. Okay, for the Amberjack and the Barracuda, we're gonna do two different recipes. I'm gonna make Barracuda burgers and I'm gonna grill the Amberjack with lemon, butter, and thyme. Let me show you how to do it. For the Barracuda burgers, we're gonna make a spicy tomato chutney. <laughs> so good. Stop, stop licking my peppers. When you salt the tomatoes, the water comes out of it. This is also a good trick for getting soft fish to firm up. There we go, we drain out this water. There we go, Barracuda Burger. We've got a sweet and spicy tomato chutney. We've got a little bit of cilantro, some lettuce. Nice toasted roll. All right. Hey, Jake, you want to try a Barracuda Burger? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm, that good? Okay, I'll try. <laughs> good. All right, guys, now we're going to cook that Amberjack. And this is going to be the simplest recipe. Butter, garlic, thyme, lemon juice. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Out of all the recipes I've shown you, this one has the most subtle flavoring. The, the butter and lemon and salt and pepper, just, it's just mild. It just accents the amberjack meat. But uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, enjoyed these recipes. If you wanna see more catch and cook videos, we got a whole playlist of them. Dozens of them, in fact. Check them out, and don't forget to click subscribe to the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel for a new video every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys.